Okay, we're coming up to the big moment. Live in our studio is one of the great drummers of the 50s and 60s. Do you remember this? Yes, yes, to know him is to love, love, love him. How about this? Here he is with his first big hit, Teen Beat. It scorched the rock scene, a hit song with no singer. Drummers became superstars after this. Here is Sandy Nelson recreating his 1959 smash hit, Teen Beat. for a microphone boom look what I got uh, I want to explain a, a real secret about teen beat the last part um, jo uh, John Bonham of Led Zeppelin bought it when it first came out and he couldn't figure out what it was that I was doing he drove his brother nuts for two and a half days but what it was here's the secret drum we got any drum fans here yeah. and there was a Dixieland drummer named Ben Pollock, who in the 30s had a big band, but in the 50s he lost his hair and got weight and had a pizza place in West Hollywood. And Bruce Johnston and Jan and Dean and us, we used to go down there and watch, watch him, uh, and he used to do this with a stick on the bass drum. So that's, what I, that's the secret. But I didn't know what to do with the other hand. I mean the other stick, so I went like this. So a lot of drummers thought I overdubbed it. <laughs> Except KR, he's out there. He's the best drummer in, in, in Vegas. Really? And Ron, too. Oh, uh, one more thing. There's always one more thing. A, a drum fans, a paradiddle. Is played like right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Can you? Is some music teacher is asking. For you. <laughs> Gene, Gene Krupa, I saw in 1948 when I was nine years old at a big theater in, in L.A. And he had a cream-colored tux, and he would do a paradiddle, but put the bass drum in weird places like this. A smart ass named Buddy Rich came along and did one better.
show, come on over and I'll show you how to do paradiddles. 